we have kind of changed the way we eat anyways, just by switching to eating the stuff that we, we grow, we produce. What are you doing, sister? I'm helping. Helping? Stop sticking your fingers in the muffin mix. An apple, apple. Cut me a little apple. Cut you a little apple? Uh, I didn't hear any manners. Please. Please what? Please have a little apple. Okay, you can have a little apple. A big apple. Oh, that changed quickly. Here's you a little apple. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> See, you're being silly. <laughs> uh, toddlers, man. Toddlers. Good morning, beautiful people. This has been one heck of a busy week. <laughs> Already. We've missed videos this week. We've been... Oh, man. Yesterday, Hurt. I fully intended on filming, and by the time we were done just dealing with stuff it was like there's no point like i have an hour of daylight left like for saying we weren't going to do anything in november and we were just going to like not mess. not doing a very good job not doing a very good job so it's all right uh, we'll just make the best of it yeah. so what are you making today i'm making muffins and i'm cooking down some lard we're almost out and i needed room in the freezer so i just got my lard it's gonna smell good in here as it that is. continues to cook down yeah one of the questions that we get surprisingly a lot is what do you do with all that lard we, we actually use it in. we actually... use it we eat it like if you've never had potatoes fried in lard oh, you man. are missing out on one of life's better things so good and i use it in biscuits it makes really good biscuits too we use it for most of our cooking like hot cooking so i don't use like olive oil or anything we use Lard. Yeah, as the past few years have transpired and certain things are either hard to get or super expensive now. Yeah, really, um, really expensive. Things like olive oil, we reserve that for salad and if you're making mayo. Right. Which we don't have mayo all the time, but when we do... That's what I use it that's for. That's what we use it for. Yeah. Yeah, uh, there's all these things that we have kind of changed the way we eat anyways just by switching to eating the stuff that we we grow we produce well i mean if we're gonna have pounds and pounds and pounds of lard from a pig isn't it respectful to the pig to use that yes rather than so, rather than use oil or whatever mm -hmm. so we use it we have slowly tried to switch what we buy from the store for what we produce on farm mm -hmm. i mean realistically there's some things that we will never be able to produce like olive oil right like sugar chocolate, chocolate. <laughs> like there's coffee there's all sorts of things that yeah we're never going to be able to grow even with a greenhouse i don't think i'm growing coffee probably not at least not to the capacity that you need it <laughs> if you're realistic and you actually like look at the things that really it's like the american diet a lot of things are so unrealistic like being able to get bananas all throughout the year yeah. or go to the store and get fruits and vegetables out of season that came halfway around the world yeah. like that's not realistic one of the things we did back in california when she talked me into going on whole 30 uh, which is a really cool diet you basically eat real food what that did was it caused us to eat in season because we're going to the farmer's market we're buying vegetables and uh, fruits and stuff like that and when you're eating what's in season it changes how you eat it does. and it's a really fun way to eat and we've kind of carried that as we've moved here and sort of growing our own food you know come zucchini season eat a lot of zucchini you do come tomato season eat a lot of tomatoes whether and you then, want to or not. Yeah, whether you want to or not uh, come apple season there's a lot of apples there's a lot of apples once apple season's over we'll be sick of apples yeah but then comes the next citrus. thing like citrus comes into season which you know that doesn't grow locally but that's like the next season and then after that then it's like your berries and your stone fruit starts coming on again and then you know as we work through the year and about the time you're sick of eating one that's it on the season you move to the next one and it's a it's a really fun way to look at your food so anyways I'll, i'm not in here to just like tell a story and talk for a long period of time I'm actually going to go out and work on the greenhouse that I haven't touched in almost a week. Yeah. Actually, yeah, about a week. Probably, yeah. Been busy all week long, and every morning I walk out there to do chores and I see the greenhouse sitting exactly as it was 
a week ago. And it's like, yeah, it'd be nice if I had time to go over there. <laughs> but you do today. So, all right, well, I will leave you to it. Okay. And I'm gonna go play outside. All right, have fun. All right. Huh. Good to see that the boys have made use of my uh, extra wood. They uh, look like they've been having fun. That's some sort of uh, teeter-totter death trap. All right, so as you guys saw last, I'd finished this end wall and I need to uh, build the doors. I'm gonna collect my tools and uh, get busy. Alright, finally have doors. Alright, I'm actually running out of time. Tonight is a karate night, so I've got to wrap stuff up early. Speaking of wrapped up, go ahead, close those. We have a wrapped up greenhouse. And I don't have to worry about the cats pooping in there anymore. Kids are in here playing in the dirt right here, and they're like, Dad, we keep finding cat poop. It's like, I know, I'm trying to get a door. <laughs> Doors in, no more giant climate controlled litter box. Cool. Now I get to do it on the other side. I am gonna put furring strips. I really like the way the furring strips look and I like the way they hold the plastic. Just kind of putting the plastic on, I tugged on it, stapled, the staple pulled. It's just like, I'm, I'm really glad that I did furring strips rather than the staples. Uh, I just stapled it up just to get it up there so I could just have it up for tonight. I just need to put my handle on, well, handle latch to keep it from opening. All right, I'm gonna go in there and harass Meg while she's cooking dinner. Project done, finally. Hello. Hi. Ooh, it smells uh, vinegary in here. What are you making? Fire cider chicken. Fire cider chicken, oh. see? See, you, it, if you guys watched, we just made that fire cider for like sickness. Actually, they didn't see that because that was the footage that got ruined by the microphone. Oh, Remember? okay, I guess you guys didn't see that. <laughs> so we uh, did a whole segment in here where 
you were making fire cider and we talked about it and how you know make fire cider take it when we're sick uh, it's good for what ails you it'll yeah. burn the cold right out of you yeah, basically. Um, it's basically a lot of vinegar garlic onions turmeric ginger ginger Lemon, 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 jalapenos. Basically all of your like really, really strong and I guess nutritional yeah. and medicinal tasty. and tasty uh, ingredients. One of the other things we talked about was because of what it is, I mean, it's most of the way there to like a marinade. Yes. And if we've let it sit for a long time and we haven't used it, then we'll just cycle it through. We'll marinate chicken in it and then cook chicken in it. And it is amazing. It's so good. So I mix it equal parts fire cider vinegar with tomato jam and then some salt. And did I, did you show making tomato jam on the vlog? I might have. I don't remember. Yeah, tomato jam is interesting. It's okay. it kind of tastes like ketchup, but then it's kind of like a fruity jam. It's interesting yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's really sweet. So I one day I was like, I have this fire cider and I have this extra tomato jam in the fridge. I need to use up. So I mixed them together, poured them over chicken. Dotted it with butter, baked it, and it was so good. It was so, so we good. were like, we're gonna make this frequently. Well, I wouldn't usually describe chicken as melt in your mouth, but that was pretty much melt in your mouth chicken. Really Everybody good. loved it. Hey, what? you could probably walk away from that. Oh, yeah. You want to come see my doors? I do. Give me one second. Let me finish the pepper. Okay. Big steps for little eggs. That looks nice. Think that'll work? Yeah. Think? I like it. That looks great. That's all right. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's great. That took way longer than it should have. That's okay. Now it's done. That's all right. I'm happy. You, Millie Cat. Oh no. Yeah, oh. she's like who? Me? Like what? What me? You're talking to me because you're going pet. <laughs> I know you're pooping in our greenhouse. Ooh. I know it's you. Cat, cat. No pooping in the garden. That's right. No pooping, no pooping in, the in the garden. There we go. There we go. Cool. Yeah, that'll definitely keep the cat out. Definitely keep the cat out uh -huh. all day long. Uh -huh. All right, let's go do dinner things. All right, all right. dinner is ready. We got it's kind of drowning in its own juices right now. That's okay. It'll be really good. We got peppers and onions and chicken. Rice and rice. And rice. All right. Let's, ready? Yeah, let's eat. So, this is our last video for the week, and we are already talking about what we're filming next. We, uh, we are butchering our last batch of meat birds for the season yep. this weekend. And you are kind of bringing up some stuff you want to talk about. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, like we've always said, we, we don't really show the, the gory details, but there's a lot of stuff that we really want to share about how, how to do to it, use it. Yeah. why to do it, stuff like that. So. And uh, I guess that'll be Monday's video. Yeah. Uh, we'll we'll, uh, we'll share some some details and interesting things about if you can't raise your own meat, things you can do and stuff like that. So I think someone has a full belly. <laughs> You're silly. And somebody got a three-hour nap today, she and so did. she's she just like, great. she's jazzed. She's jazzed. <laughs> Buggy, can you say bye? Bye. <laughs> With that, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.